Hello and welcome to another House and Home program. I'm Theresa Miria. Thank you for joining me. I'm absolutely sure you all had a great weekend. Some probably went to the movies, played sports, and yes, these days I see a lot of young people making good use of the gym and that's very good as it helps a lot. All right, to tonight's lineup, Chef Vary on cooking with Zeneg prepares the Zeneg eggplant omelette. Leon Gawi showcases Brian Bill's different types of seeds for planting and also great surprises for Mother's Day specials. We also join Godwin Eki for some amazing travel ideas. Then we have Dr. Ambi giving us more insights on healthy minds. And finally, we see another delightful preparation of a local kai kai of reef fish by Chef Roger Fregler. To start off the show tonight, here's Cooking with Zenek with Chef Dairy. Enjoy. Good morning, natural viewers. Welcome back to the Narfla Zenek Cooking Show on tonight. On tonight, I'm going to cook Zenek eggplant omelets. Okay, before you start cooking, blame me. We got really in here and by Totok Mall on Zinek Company Blaming on Products Blow on Zinek. Thank you, Chef Wary. Hi, viewers, and welcome again to tonight's Zinek Cooking Show. Tonight, we will be using Zinek eggs, 60 grams. Zinek eggs comes in different sizes, ranging from 50 grams, 55, 60, 65, and 70 grams. Zinek eggs, they are always fresh because it's locally produced here in Papua New Guinea. Viewers remember, Zineg is a locally owned company. Zineg eggs, they are available in all supermarkets nationwide and they are selling on a very good affordable price that can meet your family budgets. So remember viewers, always choose to buy Zineg eggs because they are always fresh. That's why we said to some Zineg eggs because they power protein and power kai kai. Okay, viewers, before you start cooking, blame me, I like to talk more on all Zeneg eggs, blame me. Yeah? All eggs, he talk right, he come to heart foundation, or say, maybe good plan to heart, blame me. So, kissing Zeneg eggs, all good today, lo help me come up healthy and strong. Now, to Zeneg eggs, he will pull up all proteins, vitamins, minerals, and he will pull up all energy, so you can start him day, blame one time, Zeneg eggs. Okay, now, by me, go all ingredients, blame me. I got one tablespoon oil, one plate eggplant, when me slice him all, Thin or same, na me frying pennies. Two tablespoons cheese. Okay, you can use many kind of cheese. Three tablespoons ham. Okay, you can use bacon or any choice meat blue. Okay, me got one tablespoon parsley when me chopping pennies. Now by me starting ingredients, blame me. Okay, before you me starting, by me putting frying pan, blame me by hot. Okay, time when hot stop, you me brook him ginger eggs, blame me now. Okay, you can look at quality blue ginger eggs, blame me. And me firm, yolk blue, and me golden yellow, and me so much, and me pull up a lot of proteins. Okay, and me quality ginger eggs. Okay, now you me mix them all one time, Mosem. Okay, frying pan, blame me hot now, but me add him cooking oil, blame me. Okay, you me spread him out. Okay, Mosem. Okay, you me mix some ginger eggs, blame me good. Also, me talk pinis, this lemon blade is recipe, you can cook him low any time of the day. You can cook him low breakfast, lunch, or even dinner too. Okay. Okay, now oil blame him hot or now, but you made him. Ginny get mix blame him go inside. Okay. We spread him out or same. Okay. Time him walk low cook or same stuff, but you made him. Or like plants blame him go inside. So I cook more one time or ginny get blame him. Okay, viewers, and this time I'm giving me cooking Zinek eggs omelette, but you can use your favorite ingredients below like cooking this like recipe. Now, yet you may use eggplants. Okay, now I'm adding all ham, blame me. I'm adding more flavor of Zinek eggs omelette, blame me. Okay, now parsley. 
ओके थानी मूसम नाइस फ्राइन पेन एम बै हलिम जिने गेक्स ब्लू गुट ओके ना इम एडम चीज वन टाइम सू चीज बै मेल्थ नम बेखम आप नाइस थ्रू ओके ना इम स्ट्रेट मोर लेजेस सो एम नो नाम स्टाक लो फ्राइन पेन ब्लू इम ओके लुक इम जिने गेक्स एक प्लेट ओमलेट वो लो खूब गुट थ्रू Okay, now you with the middle cook now by me rausim. Okay, jine gex you can cook it lo kain kain way na style blue. Okay, you can cook it boil, fried, scramble. Okay, viewers, you can look him jine eggplant omelette and ready finish. So we talk him fast lo cook. Okay, so you can enjoy him low breakfast, even lunch or dinner blue. Jinek excellent omelet. When we cook him low, little little time that's all. Okay, really, you got some more to talk more low game low Jinek company. Yes, viewers, Jinek is a locally owned company, and we have been supporting a number of organisations like Chesaya Home and City Mission here in Port Moresby. and our memorial hospital in Lai. So remember viewers, always choose to buy Zineg eggs because they are locally produced here in our own country. That's right. That's why we said choose Zineg eggs because I'm power protein and I'm power kai kai. The Zeneg eggplant omelet by Chef Vary. Honestly speaking, that looked delicious. There you go, viewers. Zeneg always standing upright with their affordable prices and also have more information on how nutritious their products are for the valued customers. All right, when we come back after the break, Godwin Eki leads us all the way to the beautiful destination on travel. So stay tuned. Welcome back. Now here's travel with Godwin Eki. Have a look. If you're someone who's looking for a great holiday destination in Southeast Asia or planning on taking your family on an adventure or different, then let Air New Guinea Bed of Paradise make that happen for you and your family. Now Air New Guinea takes about four to five hours from Jackson's International Airport, Port Moresby, to Denpasar, Bali, Indonesia, with flights every Monday. Bali is one of the most visited destinations in Southeast Asia by tourists from all walks of life. Tourists from near and far visit Bali each year, with tourist numbers increasing every year. Then triples as it approaches September to December, otherwise all year round it's just holiday, holiday, holiday. During these days, Bali is at its busiest, with so many fun and exciting adventures that awaits you to choose from. There are so many things you can do in Bali. Whether it's experiencing or exploring Bali, there's something for everyone. One of my favorite things to do is visiting the shopping malls in Bali. Because it's unbearable and breathtaking, from locally made materials to international branding and designer outfits such as Zara, Victoria's Secret and much much more. Bali is also known as one of the hottest fashion spots. 
so you can't go wrong when it comes to shopping for personal or family. The most interesting adventures for me was visiting the elephant sanctuary. This for me was a real adventure. One of the most and must see sanctuary in Bali that you must go to is the elephant sanctuary in Ubud in the village of Taro and is the only elephant sanctuary in the world and the most visited by tourists who visit Bali. You can also visit the fish pond in the sanctuary, especially if you have young children, otherwise even adults like myself found this fascinating to watch. If you're someone who wants to do things in one day or still search of what to do, then why not visit the cheeky monkeys? Just another 10 to 15 minutes drive through the rice fields is the monkey sanctuary that awaits you. When it comes to accommodation, accommodation in Bali is endless. There are so many places to choose from to make your stay more comfortable and memorable. Alila Hotel and Suite is one of those places that you might want to stay at with your friends and family. Located in Semenyak, right next to the beach and overlooking the Indian Ocean, you can't go wrong with what Alila Hotel and Suites has to offer. Alila Hotel Suites has some of the most magnificent and breathtaking views especially from the top floors of the hotel. The hotel comes with three swimming pools all overlooking the ocean and enough space for everyone to enjoy a swim after a hot day of unstoppable Bali adventure. Great outdoor and indoor dining and social area right in front of Seminyak Beach. Alila Hotel also has everything you need to get your holiday started in Bali. So to enjoy Bali to its fullest, it's never too late to start your adventure with PNG's National Bed of Paradise Air New Guinea and let it take you to your dream holiday destinations overseas. And who knows, it could be Bali. Welcome back. For this week's edition on Shopping with Brian Bell, we see Brian Bell's different types of seeds for planting and yes, more great surprises for all you mothers out there. Have a look. Welcome to this segment of Shopping with Brian Bell. I'm your host, Leon Gawi. Now tonight we check out our seeds 
and our gardening apparel and also we introduce a new promotion here at your home centre. So let's not delay and let's get straight into it. You see we've been receiving some good rainfall in the past few months and when it comes time for raining, my mama always told me, time to rain and time to garden. This simply translates to when it's rainy season, it's time to go gardening. Gardening is a massive part of our cultures and identity in all provinces in PNG. It's common amongst all provinces and villages in PNG, from the highlands to the islands. Brian Bell has been in the agriculture industry in PNG for a long, long time now, providing great quality products and garden apparel. Amongst this range of garden apparel are our seeds that we provide. These are veggie seeds like your broccoli and cauliflower seeds, or plants and herb seeds. Yes, Brian Bell has many seeds and vegetables like lettuce, cabbage, watermelon, corn and onions, just to name a few. However, gardening is not just limited to growing veggies, there are also herb and flower seeds that are perfect to beautify your yard. Many people need things to do outside of the regular day-to-day -day jobs. They can't be stuck behind a desk all day. Gardening is a great way of achieving this. Gardening within itself is a cycle that's fulfilling. It's much like having a child. Now you watch that child grow until it blossoms into something beautiful. Gardening is pretty much the same. Gardening is also a great stress relief tool. The benefits of gardening towards stress relief are the exposure to sunlight which increases serotonin. Now serotonin is responsible for keeping our brains balanced and makes us feel good. You are also exposed to a lot of fresh air which promotes a sense of well-being and good mental focus. Also seeing your flowers blossom is part of a fulfilling cycle of gardening and it's something to be proud of. Plants like lavender are perfect as the scent of lavender in itself calms and relaxes the mind. A good scent to have after a long day in the office. You see, herbs have been a big part of many societies. In ancient times, it was used as medication. But you can also use herbs as a bit of flavor to your next meal. You see a bit of parsley on your pasta or some rosemary to marinate that leg of lamb would go absolutely perfect. And what better way to do it than to grow it in your backyard and have it readily available for you. Now, while on the topic of gardening, we stock and sell a great range of quality pots for plants and seedling trays that will help for the gardening enthusiasts. Pots are also good to keep your plants in, especially if you live in smaller apartments or units. This allows for some greenery around your living space and also gives you the option of keeping your herbs like thyme, dill and coriander in the kitchen ready to prepare your next meal. There is a great range of sizes for all plants and a variety of styles that'll suit your preference. You'll also need proper gardening tools when it comes to organizing your pot plants or your gardening plots. Brian Bell stocks an extensive range of quality garden tools like our Tramontina range. For the farms, we got everything you could ever need. And for the backyard people, we also have this quality Tramontina little forks and shovels that can do the job for you. They're perfect for transferring seedlings from your seedling tray into your pots or onto the plot in your backyard. Now we have an extensive range of handy garden tools that can assist you in the garden like pruners, hedge trimmers and heavy duty gloves, fit to hold thorn bushes like bougainvillea bushes. There are also fertilizers and insecticides that will keep insects away from your plants and let them grow and blossom. Now if you haven't realized yet, we've gone through a quarter of the year and soon, specifically the 8th of May, which is the second Sunday of May, will be Mother's Day. Now to commemorate this day, because mothers are so special to every one of us, Brian Bell has come up with a new competition called the Mother's Choice Competition. There will be 32 lucky winners weekly and 8 major winners for the major prize. This is an excellent opportunity to win a voucher for your mom, your spouse or your partner. All you have to do is spend 50 kina or more to enter, fill in your details on the entry form and place it in the box for it to be drawn in the weekly draws or the major draw. So for every 50 kina spent, you get a single entry ticket. Any purchase of 100 kina gets you 2 entry tickets, 250 kina gets you 5 entry tickets and so forth. The weekly lead up draws will be drawn on the 16th, 23rd and 30th of April and the last one of the weekly winners will be drawn on the 7th of May. These winners will win a 500 kina shopping voucher. In total, there will be 32 lucky weekly winners. Wow, all the amazing quality products you can get here at Brian Bell. Maybe it's a new rice cooker, maybe it's a new coffee set, maybe it's a new toaster, or maybe it's a new jug. Oh, the 
possibilities are endless. The major draw will be done on the 9th of May 2016 at all eight Brian Bell outlets with eight winners taking out a cool 1,000 kina gift voucher to be spent at any home center. Imagine all the possibilities you have if you win this prize. 1,000 kina worth of quality goods from Brian Bell. What would you get if you won the 1,000 kina voucher from Brian Bell? If I won it, I'd just give it to my mom as a Mother's Day gift and tell her to go absolutely crazy and buy whatever she wants from Brian Bell. But that's never gonna happen because Brian Bell staff and their immediate families are not eligible for this competition. However, for you, our valued customers, you can enter. Come on down, purchase something, get an entry form and enter this competition. So I know you've enjoyed tonight's segment and you've seen that Brian Bell has the best quality seeds and gardening apparel here for you. Thank you for sharing your time with me and I hope you've seen that Brian Bell has some good promotions going on like our Mother's Day competition that's perfect for your mom. Come in and spend 50 kina to get one entry fee or spend 100 kina to get two. Every 50 kina you spend here gets you one entry ticket to win your mother a great prize. And always remember, great prices, great products, that's Brian Bell. So until the next time, good night and God bless. That was Shopping with Brian Bell, showcasing the different types of seeds for gardening. I believe this is great news for those of you who love agriculture. Brian Bell Home Centre Gardens with great products and great prices. Welcome back. This is House and Home if you just joined us. For Plus Belong Yumi, Mrs. Mea Manase from WGM Tailoring joins us for more sewing ideas. Enjoy. Oh, hi everyone. It's me again, Mea Manase from WGM Tailoring. And today I'm going to show you another simple item and that is a hair ribbon. So stay with me and I'll show you step by step uh, what you would need to do your, your hair ribbon. And that's just some lace with some satin material. In this case, I've used two pieces of satin colored material, green and a red. Uh, and you would normally need on one meter by 20 centimeters. So what I'm going to show you now is, how, firstly, I'm going to sew these two pieces of red and green satin material right sides together before we start adding the lace on. We, we've just joined this needle cut, I mean the two pieces together, and we're now going to add our lace. One meter of lace. This is how you just on the side. On any side, this side or this side. to join both sides together. Right sides again, fold it like so, and we're going to sew along that. Ready? After you've sewn that unfold and you've left three inches out and sewn on both edges, I will now turn it over, like so. 
Okay, you may use a scissors. Just hold it there. Get through like so. Okay. Now use your fingers to pull it through. The rest of it. And that's how it looks like. All right. This is not just an ordinary hair ribbon. I will also need to use some elastic. And this is the elastic here. You will need 25 centimeters of elastic or to any required amount of stretch that you would prefer. For mine, I've used 25 centimeters. Okay, I need two twists, just two. One, one. Two. I've done two twists on my straight piece of sewn material and then I'm going to join them just there. Now after I join that I will I will then thread my my elastic and sew it on. I'm ready to sew the edge. Oh, there is an opening there. That's when after we've thread in our elastic, then I will sew it on. Close it up, I mean. Okay. Pin the other side to have it intact so it doesn't go all the way. In. Now I'm threading my elastic. Uh, see how it's taking form already? Yes, hair ribbon. We've finally threaded our elastic through and we're ready to tie that up or sew it together, the elastic. We're not there yet. Now the last bit here is to sew that opening together. So let me just pin that together. I'm ready to sew the opening up like so. Your scrunchy here, so a little bit of twist in it. So this is it. This is my final product. Let's see how cute it is. 
I encourage you to do one for yourself and see how you go. Until then, thanks for joining me and you have yourself a lovely week. That was Mrs. Mea Manase on Place Belong Yumi. Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi is up next, so stay tuned. Welcome back. Last week on Healthy Minds, Dr. Ambi talked about child abuse and how it's affecting most children these days. Tonight, Dr. Ambi continues with more on this topic. This is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Hi viewers, welcome to our Healthy Mind Show. Well, I'm sure viewers new plan look forward to more to talk, talk about child abuse because last program you me talk talk lot the child who has been abused. Now you me talk talk plenty something penis law the the emotional abuse the physical abuse and about law sexual abuse we learned a lot so viewers i'm sure because all picking in blow you me and try play important law life blow you me now investment blow you me and i'm and future leader blow you me and all same we have our uh, way of giving our love to the children and also guide them and give them that uh, guidance law walk about blow all ha, good plus straight or same you me must protect him all too or same because you know or same you me by giving birth law picking now lose him all stuff no god we as parents have to give that protection and be there for them to nurture them to bring a very healthy Papua New Guinea citizens, all right? So what are we going to talk about today, all viewers? Or same, the child who has been abused, you meet Tok Tok Penis, one him something abuse is all about and different types of abuse. You know, why were they all abused all this time? Well, today, we last program, we we'll talk or same, uh, we will talk about how our children be going to be affected by this abuse. So, you know, or same, abuse to also na yumi or same, uh, worry na, uh, all tribe la, uh, crossy come up lo, think thing blow yumi, harim this la, tok tok, no God. Yumi must understand him, how our children being affected. There are many children who they are not able to talk out. They are unable to tell us that they are being abused. So this is the time for you me to understand these children, how are the children going to be affected? That the effect or how the impact of the sexual abuse or physical abuse or one kind abuse, yeah, Amy got the severity, it depends on the severity of the abuse. You know, or say, uh, you go supply one, one in will or sexual abuse, now physical or emotional, now something by come up or say, you know, or say miraculously come up or this, uh, no God, it's, it's all depends on the amount or the severity of abuse. Many times, parents give a pet to the child's bum na by talk or same, you know, can walk him or same, this last something. Aim this last something, it is with the love and affection you may make him, they are unlikely to cause effect loss or picking any. What are we going to talk about is the other things like how it can be severely you hate him or pickinini or one him up now you uh, you know mistreat him or pickinini. Amy got repeated physical, repeated emotional, repeated sexual abuse. Amy got effect come up all pickinini. 
Now, how are they going to be affected? Their physical health is going to be affected, number one. In this time, there is injuries and bruises and cuts and fractures and cigarette burns. Now, all sample time, it can even cause death. That is the physical impact and can affect law, come up sample biroa by come up law physical side. Number two, the children can be affected by sexual health, the injuries to the sexual organs, pregnancy, sexual transmitted disease and all these things can be possible number three it can affect the mental health the abused children are often fear they're aggressive and poor concentration and also antisocial behavior kind kind passing belong him finally it can affect the school performance that abused children may not study well they may run away from the school or they may drop off from the school well, viewers, let us know how, when to suspect a child is being abused. So plenty old man by asking Dr. Toksavilo, one, how now you mean by save? A child has been abused physically, or child has been abused sexually, or child has been abused emotionally. So when are we going to suspect this child has been abused? Well, viewers, don't even listen to me everything and not go look, look, lo, harp, lo, pine in veil, or walk in one black kind in birua, or uh, fight, or uh, come up, lo, abuse him, or uh, point him and accusing anyone. Listen to this. Be smart. Understand. And you have to ask help. Now, if you think a child has been abused physically, when do you suspect? One is the child who has been abused may look be fearful or and by look or some fear or fright or get that time. Number two, he may or she may withdraw herself or himself from other children, don't want to talk about anything or don't want to play. Okay, we are talking about if a child has been abused physically, okay? Number three, the child can be very aggressive or and bully the other children, okay? M can make him this like in person. Nara plus something, M can run away from the school. If the child has been abused at a work or a house or law school, the child may want to run away from the school. Or sometimes they come with a behavior problem like lying or stealing, and also she does, the person don't perform well at the school. This is how, when, you, when you suspect a child has been abused physically. Number two, if the child is being abused sexually, how do we know? It withdraws from all or the child might look very sad and looks very withdrawn. Number two, they show sexually, uh, sexualized play and also, uh, the, you know, the, the you know, passing belong him by round, round go low, touching or low sexual organs or play with her sexual, uh, you know, parts and about. And number three, he they know more about uh, sex than you expect for that child or the age of the child. Also, they start bedwetting. Time and sleep low night and can piss piss and about now all walking and they don't know how to control the piss piss and some plat time will infection by come up in the sexual organs and also narpla narpla plays or play low harp low all sexually and perform poorly at school and over friendly with adults in the manner that was not unusual to her like m by very over friendly talk talk low get a man mary or same because m2 m you know experience him all get a something penis some people are picking or like kill kill him all yet i have we have seen patients who have been child sexually abused and when they grow they wanted to depressed and they want to kill themselves and fearful of adults of other family and you know for no clear reason or by fright no good through and they don't trust any other people in the house number you look him or say they start missing or misusing alcohol and drugs and they repeated urinary infection and by kissing piss piss time and pain come up or this la kind urinary infection or inflammation around the sexual organs so you must look look lord this last side for if you suspect a sexual abuse in a child the finally is the emotional abuse 
how do you ab uh, suspect the emotional abuse when a child is emotionally abused? Number one is not developing properly emotionally or even healthy or even by physically. Something is retarding that child and losing weight for no obvious medical reason and also constantly falling sick because they can't talk because you are giving looks or something this like kind. Huh? Has poor uh, language developments in their lives and passive or does not even react to other children and has feeling problems and they keep it to themselves and run away from the home, may not perform uh, at school and appears dull most of the time feeling depressed or lack of energy and goes back behaving uh, like a little child. If you're a six-year-old, it might she might behave like a three-year-old. So well, uh, viewers, you have heard all these things, how or how, when to suspect that a child is being abused. We come to the last point, how do we deal with the problem? Because the child need help, the perpetrator needs, the person who is abusing the child need help because there must be some issues. So sometimes this is a sensitive issue if you suspect that the child, any child, has been abused, the child you must talk to the right parents or some trustworthy people, or even go and look for, uh, uh, you know, the right, like a pastor or priest or a counselor or the so social development, uh, you know, department where they are there to help, or even police has got child abuse unit. There are many organizations are there to help these issues. So uh, you can uh, refer this child to the child specialist. They can find out exactly where the problem, what's the problem, how we can turn. It is a sen sensitive issue, it's a complex issue. You can involve police, you can involve organization, you can involve institutions, okay? You can even involve churches to get involved. Bring this suffering child come bring them out of this darkness because these children are our futures. We have to stand together to fight this issue and transform our nations. Lord, I am sure all of all viewers have heard from us so much. Until next time, you're going to hear more on children and how we can transform the children. Until then, put Papa God first. Now, kiss him or think him blow you good plus straight. Think him good, now change in Papa Nikini. Take care. Now God bless you all. Bye-bye now. This is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Child abuse is one of the major problems that's affecting our children. We see most families literally breaking away all because of this issue. It is also good that we have a lot of constant organizations conducting awareness to lessen this problem. Thank you, Dr. Ambi, for that. Stay where you are as we have Chef Roger Fregler coming up next on Cooking with House and Home. So please don't leave that seat. Yeah, Welcome back. Now we take a look at another delightful cooking by Chef Roger Fregler. Here's cooking with House and Home. Enjoy. Hi everyone. I'm uh, Chef Roger Fregler. I'm going to show you a uh, local kai kai today with uh, of reef fish, kau kau and kangkung. I got a uh, reef fish here, fresh fish. We bought it in the mor morning. I got some boiled cocoa, and I'm going to show you how to make some mashed cocoa with coconut milk and some shallots, some coconut milk. First uh, extract of coconut milk, garlic, ginger, cracked pepper, salt, and scraped coconut, and uh, some kangkung there. So I'm going to actually steam this fish. So I'm going to steam it in banana leaf, and this is a healthy eating 
with no grease or whatever it is so you can try it at home I'm actually going to fillet this fish one side of the fish just slice it below the fin the other side of the fish you can use this bone fish head for a soup if you want to but today we leave it and I got my fish fillets ready so I have the banana leaves here and it's already burnt a little bit to make it nice and uh, flexible so we can wrap it so I don't need that's big banana leaf, so I take it in half. Fish onto that. Some salt. Bit of pepper. And a little bit of mulli, squeeze it up. And top it up with uh, shallots, spring onion. Wrap the banana leaf. And my water is already boiling and steamer is ready. I'm going to place it inside this. Once again, remember, be careful with your fingers, this is very sharp. There's plenty of coke on there. Maybe the popular milk there. Kung you can break it up. So I need to cut it. Kung is all water spinach. Now I add with a fresh coconut, fresh coconut.
Hong Kong is ready. I use the same pan for Hong Kong. Again, we have coconut milk. We have salt again, and a little bit of pepper. That's right. My fish is ready now. It's about five minutes. Turn this one off. Get the fish. Want to eat? That looks beautiful. That's really nice. There you go, voila. Steamed fish with mashed cow cow, Chef Roger style, another healthy eating. And that was cooking with house and home with Chef Roger. Thank you, Chef Roger. That was totally delicious. And that's all we have for you tonight on house and home. Just as much as I've enjoyed your company, I hope you did enjoy watching this episode as well. If you'd like to see more of our episodes, please visit MTV online to watch. And please feel free to comment on our Facebook page, like it and tell us what you think and what you'd like to see more of on the House and Home program. And remember viewers that there's more you can get for your home and lifestyle improvement when you tune into House and Home every Tuesday. Until the next episode, I'm Theresa Miria and as usual, on behalf of the House and Home team, have a pleasant night and enjoy the rest of the week. It's all about the better man for your life.